Hello and welcome to day 3 in modular in a week where I'm building a modular synthesizer in a week. Today we've come to the day where we are going to mix and split signals. And if as you heard in this small uh, sound that I've patched up here this makes all the difference. Now suddenly we have movement of many VCOs, many VCAs and it's a, an evolving sound finally not just a VCO that goes and opens and closes a VCA. Uh, so this is all the difference. So today we are going to make in this first episode we're going to make a unbuffered mixer. Uh, they are a very cheap module, very easy to build, very good for mixing CV signals and some kinds of, of audio signal. You can use it for audio signal but because it is unbuffered there is some quirks that makes it many of our modules are unbuffered outputs and you put them into an unbuffered mixer and the sounds can uh, interact with each other in a way that doesn't happen in a buffered mixer which we'll look at in the next episode. But it's still a very good mixer to start with. You should have at least one of these in your uh, modular system. So let's look at the components and how to build this module. Searching for DIY mixers online sooner or later gets you to the A100 do-it-yourself page. It's, uh, it's an interesting page, uh, very basic, and they do give you some passive components that you can make. Simple attenuator, simple low-pass filter, high-pass filter, all passive here in the beginning and then getting a bit more interesting as we go along. Uh, and one of the circuit examples that comes up is the CV mixer with offset function. And uh, so this was the first I looked at and it doesn't have any values. It has typical values here. Uh, so I continued to look the, uh, but one thing that I want to say I kept from this one is this output right here, which is the inverted output. Interesting to know that uh, you can have an inverted output as well in this simple uh, mixer configuration. So, continue looking. I found experimentalistanonymous.com, which is technically just a a web page with just tons and tons and tons of uh, uh, schematics and stuff uh, just piled up like this no no fancy design nothing just files and here you can find loads of interesting stuff um, one of the things I found was simple mixers so again this index of uh, schematics buffer switches mixers and routers this is only mixers and, and buffers and, and stuff like that. Um, but I found this one, so it's a compilation of loads of mixers, different kinds, simple passive mixer, and then with a, becomes a little bit more complicated and more and more. And this one, number three, is the one that is most like, like the the dope for one and the one that I want to have. The If we look at the two, so this one is a CV mixer, so there's no uh, ca capacitors in this schematics, but in the this one there are capacitors all along. Uh, and this is that's one of the differences between an audio and a CV mixer. Another difference is that uh, the audio usually use logarithmic potentiometers and CV uses linear. So I'm going to do uh, something in between. I'm going to use linear 
potentiometers because there's, they're a bit cheaper and I don't really need that logarithmic function and I want them to use I want to use them both for CV and for audio but I'm still going to keep these two capacitors and I'm only going to use one channel out and I'm also going to add from this one the inverted output uh, we add in between here and with that we end up with this circuit so we have the inputs here with a 10k potentiometer, a 10k resistor into a TL072 which first inverts the signal and then inverts it again back to the output uh, with the feedback loop here and I also add the inverted output simple as that I don't add the resistor and the capacitor on the inverted out so unbuffered mixer cost a little less than nine dollars with my high prices that I've set we need six jacks four 10k potentiometers one TL072 and then a bunch of resistors and a few three capacitors and that's it and that's a grand total of 22 components including the jacks and pots so quite a simple build so let's sit down and solder this together and I went for four inputs because this is as many as I could fit on in one panel along with the output and the inverted output which I'll show you soon on the layout of the panel so really is a build I just added the resistors to the swiper pin of the potentiometers and then directly to the input of the the negative input of the first op amps And when we look at the panel of the mixer, we have four inputs, an output and an inverted output. Again, this one could probably be compressed a bit. The early panels that I made was quite a bit wider than they had to be, but later on when I figured out how many modules I was going to build, I had to compress them. And that is the unbuffered mixer. Very good module, you should have at least one in your module. Uh, and in the next episode I'll show you how to make the buffered mixer, which is also a very good module to have. Especially if you don't have buffered outputs, which most of these don't have. Two similar modules, but very different uh, uses for them. This mixer also uh, as you saw in the schematics has an inverted output. Uh, this is especially useful uh, when you're using it for CV signals as you can send the the added the, the mixed CV signal to one module and you can send the inversed mixed CV signal to another module and that could make really interesting effects like two VCAs fading in and out so when one fader fades in the other one fades out for example I have not added it in this module yet uh, I will do that definitely so yeah hope you liked this video and if you did show it with a thumbs up Make sure you are subscribing and that you have pressed the bell button so you don't miss the next episode where we'll make the buffered mixer. If you feel like it, please consider becoming my Patreon. That would be great. Then I could make even more videos and spend more time doing videos. Um, no matter if you do or not, see you in the next episode. Bye.